seems a more open weekend given the nature of this circuit. Who do you think Mercedes' fight will be with in qualifying and in the, and in the race? I'm not too sure, to be honest. I mean, we hope with, um, you know, Aston and Ferrari, that's where, where we're aiming towards. You know, obviously Red Bull are a little bit in a league of their own at the moment. The midfield's tight and we've seen a number of times this year that, you know, a McLaren or an Alpine or even a Haas, you know, jumps ahead of us on a Saturday, but, you know, they're nowhere on a Sunday. Whereas um, if they do manage to do that this Saturday, they probably will be with us on this Sunday. So uh, we need to try, as I said, we need to work on our qualifying pace for this event and um, reassess the car globally next week. Well, Lewis, I know it's a hard track in which to really gauge the extent of these upgrades, but how is the car feeling and what are you learning out there? Well, firstly, I mean, I've generally had an amazing day. I really enjoyed uh, driving today. Um, I want to say a big, big thank you to everyone back at the factory because um, to build and, uh, and design and develop a car is not an easy thing. And everyone's put so much uh, time in, so many hours of, of uh, hard work to have us here today. I'm glad that we were able to keep it on track for them. And I think we've got a lot of data. I mean, it's not the place to ultimately test an upgrade, but um, the car was generally feeling good. I think ultimately it was a bit of a shame we weren't as close as I had hoped uh, at the end of the session, but um, definitely felt the improvements and um, I'm grateful for them. We just got to keep uh, chipping away at it and see if we can squeeze any more juice out of the car. Is there one area you're seeing the most improvement in the car or is it a general overview? Uh, there is, I'm not going to say where, the, <laughs> but there is, there is and, there's, and it's very clear where the lack is, a uh, lack of performance is for me. And so I just have to, we'll talk about that in the debrief, um, we'll, we'll, we'll collect, you know, put our heads together and try and figure out how we can do that with, within what we have. And, um, but hopefully this gives us a platform to build on moving forward. How much more pace do you think you can gather before tomorrow and where do you think you'll be in the fight for pole? Well, I mean, I don't, uh, in P1 I thought, well, maybe we're looking pretty good, but we're always looking pretty good in P1 for some reason. So. Um, in this session, we were, we were close to half a second off. I think maybe that could have been three tenths, maybe, but uh, I don't think we have half an hour, half a second in the in the bag. So we'll see. We'll work on it and see if they, we can squeeze some more out tonight. And um, just finally, we are standing out here, and the fans are all around still. You say how much you in, you've enjoyed today. How good is it to be back racing in Monaco? Oh, it's amazing. It's a, such a beautiful. It really is a special place. You know, it is. It is a stunning uh, place for people to come. There's, there's a lot of Brits that come over here, lots of Europeans obviously naturally here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, and it's such a privilege for, a, I woke up this morning, you know, just reminding myself as a kid when I was 13 and saw this place and when I first came here and it, you know, seeing it was then my dream. Like I was like, one day I'm gonna live here. And um, to wake up here and know that I'm one of only 20 drivers that get to drive in Formula One, I, I just was having to pin, pinch myself this morning. So. I feel very, uh, you know, I feel very grateful. Uh, Max, I know the day didn't start off so well, but it looked like it finished well. How did it go for you? Yeah, I think uh, FP1 was uh, quite tricky. I was not really happy with the, the ride of the car on the curves and, and the bumps. And I think FP2 was already a lot better. Uh, the car was a lot more competitive, but compared to Ferrari especially, I think was still a bit lacking on the like general ride of the car. So how it handles the curves, the, the bumps, the drops in camber. So that's still something we need to work on for tomorrow because you can see they are very, very close and knowing that, you know, once you go all to the limit in qualifying, um, we need a bit more, you know, to, to stay ahead of them. I remember hearing on Team Radio, the team said, oh, we can make some changes between FP1 and FP2. Do you feel like you've still got a bit more room to kind of move to try and get those gains? Those yeah, I think there's still a bit of scope, you know, to go in the same direction even, mm -hmm. even more. Hopefully that will be uh, even better for tomorrow. Are you starting to feel a bit more confidence though as the session went on? Yeah, I think the you know the car was drivable at least, and uh, that's that and also makes you uh, able to to put that lap you know to to push a bit more, get closer to the the guardrails around here. Um, but yeah, overall difficult start, but a good end. You mentioned the pace of the Ferraris. Any read on the Astons as well? Uh, they're, they're close as well, so we definitely need to build a little bit more of a of a buffer if we want to be ahead of them tomorrow. Oscar, you've had a, a couple of sessions now in a Formula 1 car around here. How was it for you? Um, it's quick. It's definitely quick. Um, yeah, tricky day. A um, bit off the pace, but um, yeah, I think it's just about putting it together. I think the, the places I need to improve on uh, from FP1, I made a bit better for FP2. It's just, um, yeah, for putting it all together, I would say. So 
Um, and especially around here with all the low speed corners, you have a little bit here and there and it can add up very quickly. So um, yeah, we'll work on it overnight, um, see where I can do better. But um, yeah, kept out of the walls, had a couple of rubs. Um, but yeah, I think that's a, a decent first day in Monaco and we'll try and uh, get a bit more, bit more pace out of it tomorrow. Is it really down to being a confidence thing? Like the, the more confidence you get, you can quickly get that time back in those low speed corners. Yeah, definitely. I think you've got to get yourself into a rhythm, um, which I don't think I've really got myself into yet. Um, like I said, I think I'm doing the corners yeah. good at least once during the session, just need to put them all together. So um, yeah, we'll see what I can work on overnight. Um, I think from, like I said, from P1, I improved on the areas I needed to. Now it's just sort of catching up a bit in, in the rest of the places. So um, yeah, confident we can make a good step tomorrow. Lando looked generally pretty quick out there. That must give you a lot of inspiration that if you can hook it all together, you guys might be in the fight for at least Q3 this weekend. Yeah, definitely. He's had a, a good day, very, very quick in FP2. Um, I think for, you know, for the whole field, it's still incredibly tight. Um, you know, I obviously need to make a, a good step forward, but like every weekend, it's, it's super tight. And, uh, you know, the gap to the guys in, in P1 is really not that big, even from where I am at the back uh, at the moment. So. Um, yeah, some small gains can, can get us a fair way up um, and obviously here you need to be starting up as high as you can.